The Ramphalosi Park is a special park. It's known as the birthplace of the rhino. It's from here most of the white rhino populations actually originates. In recent years, organised crime has infiltrated conservation, coming in and poaching rhino. Last year, were 769 animals killed. That's over two animals a day. Peace Box Foundation, we work together towards a common goal, combating wildlife crime and trafficking within Southern Africa. If we don't have technology that can support us, I promise you, the rhino will decline. The park's got 96,000 hectares. You cannot identify exactly the direction these people they're gonna use. Even yesterday, we lose a two rhino. That's a problem. So from my heart, I need to make sure that I'm fighting the rhino poaching. If you touch rhino, you touch me. Rangers want to save rhino. They don't want to be technicians. And that's where we started looking at Azure in the cloud. What we're looking for is to detect suspicious human activities on the images taken by motion-activated camera traps. They're just a camera that takes photos as soon as something moves past it. You know, animals moving past, wind blowing grass around. It's taking a lot of photos that you really don't want. And you have to look at each one if you really want to catch someone. The problem with that is obviously that you can only process so many photos every day. What we were able to do with this system is that this photo is processed by a machine learning model and only sends down the relevant photos, which is humans and vehicles. At NEF Center, we have a reaction unit team. The reaction unit team will fly straight to that area to make sure we save this run. Before Azure was really not scalable, Microsoft's such a massive contributor to open source. Azure really makes it easy to use Linux operating systems. Everything runs on Azure Functions and on a Postgres database. We are using Keras-based framework with TensorFlow, SSD, neural network architecture, FasterCNN, uh, YOLO v3, and RutinaNet. We used Azure machine learning compute with GPUs. It's very scalable. For our scenario, the latency that the model were giving us were perfect. It's quite important to know where our data is. Now we can put that in the data centers here in, in South Africa. Microsoft, they are really contributing to a cause in South Africa that really makes a massive difference. It's our heritage, these animals. They've been here for hundreds and hundreds of years. We want to keep it that way. <laughs>